What up, Cubs? My name is Brendan Shabath. I'm joined alongside Stephen Hahn and Grant Fogel. And this is our very first edition of this year's Sports With. All right, guys, so big news over the weekend. A uh, lot of controversy. Urban Meyer, only three-game suspension. Stephen Hahn, give us your opening thoughts on that. You know, I just, reading the whole story, following the whole situation, it just seems like, you know, Ohio State picked football over integrity. That's where that's where I draw the line. You know, a, a woman was being hurt in this situation, and they, they decided they would rather have their football team get, get some more wins than, than protect the, the, the Ohio State family, what they call Buckeye Nation, which they've been apologizing to a lot, apologizing to Buckeye Nation. They should have been apologizing to Courtney Smith and everyone else who was affected Smith? by the situation. Now, your thoughts. Yeah, Zach Smith, the assistant coach uh, for Ohio State, um, his, his grandfather was actually the one who hired Urban Meyer at uh, Ohio State. So many are speculating that this is partially why Urban Meyer did what he did by keeping this under the rug, per se, is um, in retribution to Zach Smith's grandfather. There is no confirmed fact or statement from Urban Meyer. And I'm not sure if you guys saw the press conference, but Urban Meyer was a deer in the headlights there. It was kind of sad, especially he was in full knowledge of the situation, especially hence the deleted text. Yeah, as we know, Urban Meyer deleted text messages from over a year ago, which is right about the time the incident would have been happening. Um, it's known, you know, Stephen, that Urban's wife knew about this. You know, Urban's wife works at Ohio State. Um, I find it very hard to believe that she didn't talk to him about it at all at maybe dinner, you know, maybe chilling in bed before they go to sleep. And, you know, he only gets three games. I mean, we've seen this is just disgusting to me. I mean, Todd Gurley got four game suspension for selling autographs. Yeah, and, you know, you hear Urban Meyer during the press conference. He kept saying, I'm sorry we're in this situation. I'm sorry we have to be in this situation, even though he was the one who put them in this situation. He was the one that put the school. He was the one that put um, most of his staff in the, in the situation where the press was, was, you know, hunting them down, saying, like, why wasn't this talked about? Why wasn't this reported? Why wasn't more action taken? And, I mean, this isn't the first time we've seen head coaches, you know, deny knowing information. We, we, we saw it with Joe Paterno, and I find it very hard to believe that, you know, multiple head coaches across the nation uh, lack the information that they need to report these things. Yeah, and uh, it just it makes you wonder, how is this going to affect Ohio State's season? I know it's only three games, but the first three games sometimes have a huge impact on the season um, continues. And... To be honest, you never know if this three-game suspension gets appealed, and Urban Meyer could be gone for even longer. But for now, we know three games, the Buckeyes will be missing them. Well, given the three-game schedule that they have, uh, I think they might as well just sit them out one practice, and it's going to do about the same damage as it would. Um, they're still going to lose to Michigan. You know, no fact there. Anyways. Hot take. Wow. Very hot take. Very hot. Take. You know, I, I've also heard that he is going to be rejoining the team in a, a non-coaching role on September 1st, which is before their first game. So he will still be present uh, during, during team meetings, and it's almost like he didn't get suspended at all. All right, that's all we have for today, Cubs. Tune in again next week for our very own edition of Sports With. My name is Brendan Shabath. Stephen Hong. Uh, Graham Fogel. This is your home for Cubs Sports.